It's certainly a less attractive look than we had going, eh? Come on, let's return to Virgil, because that, that is what we need to do. We need to return to Virgil, and he is in the sea, the glowing sea. And I don't feel like taking 8,000 tons of radiation poisoning, so I'm just going to not do that. Unless you're hounding for a green suntan, I suggest we get a move on. We're good. See, we took like, what, two rads there? Maybe two rads? And then we just wander over this way. And say hello to our compatriot. Hello, sir. I wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need. Indeed, we did. I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. No. Nope. How'd you manage to get it decoded? Uh, friends. I've made some friends in the Commonwealth. Better you than me. Face like this. I'm not gonna make too many friends. You know, you could probably be friends with Fox. Who's been busy? I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. I didn't really think about Here's that. simple explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport okay. coursers and send you instead. I can do that. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station, that's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. Oh, that's cool. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems. Well, thank you for the heads up. It's good enough. I'm sure it'll work. For the record, I haven't made any <laughs> promises, but if you can build this Virgil, device, given that, uh, and make use of well, that code, if everything goes up, you should be able to in smoke. It's your fault. From the it's not my fault. Relay. Can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. Wait, are his glasses broken? Like, there's no lens? I've got it covered. Good, good. Or are those supposed to be just cracked? Get in there, for both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. Okay. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Yeah, that's fair. On. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. So, a bunch of optionals. Okay. We can uh, go with the Minutemen. We can go with the Brotherhood. We can go... Uh, what was the other one? The Railroad. You know what I'm thinking? Thinking we do absolutely none of those. And instead, we just build this fucker ourselves and uh, go ourselves. We might be the general of the Minutemen, but that does not mean we need their help. They have been pretty well useless in terms of getting us uh, anything accomplished. We haven't even talked to the Brotherhood yet. And uh, I don't really trust those railroad fuckers. What? I think that was supposed to be, uh... Tell you. I have heard. There we go. Yeah. Huh. Oops, that's wrong. The the okay, let's check it. Drop our hazmat suit off. What do you need, General? Nothing. I'm building this solo. So let's build it solo. What we need... Let's see, special. Not anything here, okay. Is it in power? Maybe not. Crafting? Uh, I don't know what it might be under. 
Do we have to get help? Wait. Terminal. I'm getting the feeling that we have to. Damn it. Unless there's a schematics we need to read first. Let's see. Oh, I should put that away. Cares the charisma. Well, let's see. What? What was it called? Oh, you're kidding me, right? Alright, I'm getting the, the distinct sense that I actually do have to get help. Fuck it. Preston, get your ass over here. What do you need, General? Uh... I have plans here to build a signal interceptor that can get me inside the Institute. The Institute? Why in the world would you want to mess around with them? They kidnapped my baby. Damn. That's some bad business. Damn. Even for them. Son, we'll get a load of this. Help we can. Don't worry about that. You damn well now, better. Assuming you could build this thing, what exactly does it do? So. Good question. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. This machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? For real? Wow. That would explain a lot about how the Institute manages to operate. No kidding. If anyone can make heads or tails of those plans, it'd be Sturgis. I haven't found anything yet that he couldn't build or fix. All right. Sweet. Sturgis, my boy. My man. Sturges, where the fuck are you? There you are. Get out of the farm. Stop plopping around in the shit. You stand up. This place is really coming together, huh? I can't take all the credit. You can't take any of the credit. Preston thought you might be able to figure out these plans for me. Sure thing. Let's see what you've got. Here you go. Wow. What a mess. Hmm. Looks like, uh, encrypted RF transmissions. Okay, so that gets routed through... What the hell? Teleportation. <laughs> this is some pretty crazy <laughs> shit. I like that he figured it out just you from sure the schematics. It's real. it's real. It's real. I got it from an ex-Institute scientist. Seriously? I didn't know you could be an ex-Institute anything and still be breathing. Uh, anyway, yeah, no kidding. The eggheads never think about the nuts and bolts of actually making something work. But, uh, looks like it's all here. Yeah. Yep. yeah. I'm gonna need some time to study this thing. The handwriting's pretty hard to make out. But, uh, you can get started on what he calls a stabilized reflector platform. Okay. Uh, it'll need some pretty high-grade metals. But it's basically not that different than the line of... What is that mushing sound? Something like that. Got a parts can list? Can you give me a list of what I'll need to build this platform. Yeah, sure. Here's a list of what you'll need for the first piece. I'm pretty sure we've got all that at Sanctuary, if you want to build it there. While you're working on that, I'll get busy figuring out how to actually build the rest of this thing. Sweet. Keep in mind, I can already see this is going to take a crazy amount of juice. Like if you had a spare nuclear reactor handy, we could probably use it. <laughs> and it's going to be big. So find a nice open building site with lots of power available. Sounds good. You know yeah. where uh, we've got a big open space? Right here. We're going to build our teleportation circle right here. So. Is it going to be under special or power? Maybe under special. Yeah, alright. Okay, well we're going to plop that fucker right there. Hello, buddy. buddy. Wait, where the fuck did he go? 
Oh, he's back sludging around. Hey, Can you? Sturgis. Stand your ass up. Got work to do. Can't talk now. I don't There's want to talk to you. Did you find a good spot to build your signal interceptor? Yep. Yeah. Ready to build the rest of it. Good. I think I got a handle on this crazy contraption. At least as much as I can tell. Okay. Well, until we actually try to build it. Let's here's do a it. list of three things that may be harder to find. I think I'll be able to pull together everything else we're going to need. I'll meet you over at the building side and see if we can actually make this thing work. Sounds good. Console, relay, and emitter dish. Sounds good. Thanks, Sturgis. I'll get right on this. Good deal. One thing to keep in mind while you're building this, it all needs to be wired together so all the pieces can talk to each other. I'll see you over at the building site. Good luck. Thank you. Greetings, buddy. Okay, now. Next pieces, so. Ooh, okay, this is a big motherfucker. Oh, okay. platform relay dish the emitter what was the other thing control all right this control thing we'll put right here power up okay so you need two five twenty two five that's seven eight twenty eight okay generators galore Wait, really? Fucking hell, okay. Well, let's just, uh, beepity, boppity, and boom. Fire you, to you, 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 to you, you, to you, and you. Brilliant. Quick save that shit. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Uh yes, but not actually. So what we're gonna do, because I don't know if this thing is gonna dump us into the institute. Uh, assuming it is, what we're gonna do, we don't have any junk. Let's uh, quickly empty our miscellaneous garbage. Transfer. Miscellaneous. So. Go. That coming along nicely. All right, now the other thing we're gonna do, because I don't want to have to deal with weight limitations or issues while I'm in there. Uh, we are gonna go as light as possible. So, buff out, good. That, good. Food paste, fine. Get rid of that. I think we're gonna mostly rely on uh, stim packs while we're in there, to be honest. So anything that doesn't heal at least 100 health, we're gonna, we're gonna leave behind. Although that, that is useful. Cake can breathe underwater, that'd be useful. AP restoration, good. 
That's good. Get rid of the mutts. Serum, good. Get rid of the noodles. Quantum, good. Psycho, good. Buff. Energy resist. That might be really useful as well. That's good. Squirrel boy might be you or squirrel stew might be useful. That's pretty good. That's dump that, dump that. And those are pretty good. Alright, well I think that's pretty good. The other thing we're gonna do over here is really quickly transfer. Let's take a look at our aid and make sure that we've got everything that we need. Um So, like, let's grab, oh, that's the wrong one, this one, there we go. Well, let's grab, not 60, let's grab four buff out, just in case we're, we're way overweight and we want to carry this shit. Damage resistance, that might be useful. Damage up might be useful. We'll pick up a couple of stealth boys. Alright, there we go. We've got about 200 pounds of carry capacity. What's his name has? 100, give or take. Sturgeon. Let's do it. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Let's do it. Let's do this. Sure. Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then I fire her up and we see what happens. Okay. Oh. Just get on the platform. You know what I want to do? Let's just take a quick look at our uh, uh, ammo. Lots of shot. Lots of that. Tons of fusion. Okay, we're good I'll enough. do the rest. Nick, are you coming? Okay. Hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. By the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute. Now, what they're up to. Good idea. Now, th this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh... Decoration. It's decoration. <laughs> okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking there it is. RF. Uh, you don't... And... Got it! Hold on to your butt! Hold on to your butts! What is that from? Oh, that's from Jurassic Park. Brilliant. Alright, we are in. We are down. We are ready to blow the fuck out of everybody. Let's go. You access log. Okay, cool. Uh, network scanner. There we go. Okay, now presumably The network scanner, cool. Now what's the plan? Leave? No? Okay. Alright, well we are in here, so let's, uh... Let's do it, I guess. 
Hello. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. Uh oh. I am known as Fawn. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Okay. They've been expecting us. That's always uh, bad heard. things. What do you think of us? I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Okay. I will bite. But not Welcome to the Institute. Fuck. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity. Hey, shit, trees that aren't dead. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. A uh, cult. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that could wait. You are here for a specific very personal reason. You are here for your son. Yep. Is that him? Jammed. I think that's him. No use. Oh, there we go. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Oh my god. It's really. It's really you. Who are you? Be honest? Sean, it's, it's me. I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Are you okay? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Shh. It, it'll be okay, Sean. Mommy's here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who father? is Father? Father, help me! Where is He's he? He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Okay. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are <laughs> emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenge. Yeah, what's Let's to say? Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now. I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. Well, well. You know what? I want answers, asshole. 
Now. Under the circumstances, I will forgive your vulgarity. But I need you to realize that this okay. situation is Explain. far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. And well, 20 or 30 or 50 years. Have been it's good to finally meet you after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. What? I am. <laughs> Your son. Uh... How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. Yeah? You'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. I didn't actually it believe... It so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years. Uh, I was under that no impression that it was ten years. And here I am, raised by the Institute, and now its leader. Why? But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? Yeah. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Okay. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you? In a manner of speaking. That's not cool. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was... I still don't know why you, though. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation... So it's because of your purity? Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, Protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of... Still not cool. Organics ...used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Uh And you've you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. What's going on here? Please try and keep what? an open mind. I recognize that what you the fuck? are emotional. And that your journey here has been fraught it with just, challenges. Did it just loop? Let's start anew. What the fuck is going on here? I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. What? Uh. Okay, one, 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 one second here. The game seems to have just dropped the dialogue again. I know. Yeah. But I, you, it's good. Okay, yeah. Oh! Bullshit! Is it? In the vault. Sure. But then you learn. But is it really so hard to accept that? And here I am. Raised by the Institute. But why? Ah, uh, at that time, so. So the weird science ex. In a manner. Okay. Plenty, even in the. But then I was. I am the. 
And you? I have. I know you must have questions. Okay, there. It seems to have. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Uh, okay, so. Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was. I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems collateral what damage. Is a bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if, more often. Yeah. Not. What matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Okay. Kellogg? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived. Yeah, we knew that from the it memories. Wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. Kellogg was... Let's just say he was more complex than you might think. After what he's done, I'm surprised to hear you say that. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Okay. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute. But his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. Some amount of revenge? Come on, man. Really? That's... Us. To have some amount of revenge, what else can I say to ease your mind? All right, tell me about the Institute. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. Okay. So... It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you do. Yeah. I'm glad we see it the same way. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people. Of I'm in a real difficult now, predicament. After all these years, you have an opportunity. This guy is sounding a lot like President Eden of Fallout 3, which means I'm not gonna. That I'm not willing to do with him. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. But we've traveled with Nick for and so I long. I'm sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. <sighs> I'm gonna have to disagree. Your Institute has done some horrible things. Yes, well... The world is not what it used to be. What about the people you've hated in order to get here? What atrocities have they committed? These Minutemen, claiming to want to save the Commonwealth from itself. They cannot even protect themselves. Their cause is a doomed one. But a glory, a, there is true glory in, this world. in a doomed cause. Gone. But we are not the monsters we have been cast as. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. 
A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. All right, we'll see. Will you take that chance? All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Yeah, I don't know. Dr. A -O this... SRB. Well, this will be a good opportunity to grab the serum. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival. Dr. Course, Lee, my... Them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Okay, well, we'll put away the gun for a moment. But only a moment. I don't know, man. This this place gives me real creepo vibes. I'm not super cool with it. And also, I'm not still I'm not 100% convinced that that is Sean. We know nothing about him. Let's, let's take a crack at this terminal, see what's going on here. Well, it can't be Doom. Can't be Show. Then? Can't be Then. Must be Iron. Got it. Interesting. Let's see. FEV lab. Yeah. Okay. You. You've got me. Uh, you've you've got me sold. This place needs to get shut down. Synth shutdown, eh? Sean's terminal password. Okay, well, we've already hacked into it, so... We didn't need that. when people get robots to do all their work. They get fat and lazy, that's what. Real people doing real thinking and real work. That's the future I want. Okay. No argument here. Nice to meet someone who isn't obsessed with replacing people with machines. I'm, I'm having some real conundrums here, because I... We're too reliant on these synths. But nobody wants to listen. Maybe you can talk some sense into them. Yeah. In any case, I suppose I should say, welcome. Perhaps a fresh perspective will do some good around here. Don't make excuses. You're <laughs> clearly defective. Ah. Uh, let's quickly... Turn that on. And I intend to report this. Perhaps after you've been disconnected. Subject identified. You somebody I need to meet? Welcome to the Institute, ma'am. No. Oh fuck, this this place is This is a huge place. Uh... Oh. Yes. Cool. Well, that was a uh, pure luck, but whatever. here oh, there's somebody in here so bioscience just need to tighten up this primary drive servo hey doc that's the third primary drive breakdown this month hi you weren't kidding you really are here well all right 
I'm Alan. All right, that's. You can think of me as the institute's chief. Okay. Engineer. When father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? It's my kid. I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems okay. very smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Uh, I'm just looking. I'm just looking around. I see. Well, please do mind what you touch. Sensitive equipment here, not like topside. If there's anything else you'd wow. like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Okay. I'm good for I'm now. I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye then. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long. Robotics. robotics. Remember to keep unnecessary power consumption to a minimum. Don't recharge. Oh shit. Okay, well that that just took me into a different loading zone. I didn't was not expecting that. You're here. Glad you made it. We're all looking forward to working for company. If it were just a limb twitching, perhaps. But her eyes were moving as well. Involuntary twitching and rapid eye movements while sleeping can only mean one thing, Max. You just don't want to admit to yourself what it means. If you're about to involve in one of your about artificial synthesis and machines with souls. Don't bother. I've heard enough of this now. I'll write them down from memory. But we can't just ignore the question. If a synth can dream, why can't it have a soul? And if a synth has a soul, then it is a living person by every standard we can measure. Of course it is far more comfortable to think of them as machines. So we can do what we want with them. We'll if you disapprove of the work we do here, I am 400% getting rid of this place. I'm glad I came into this room. I am very glad that I came into this room. That is terrifying. And I suddenly now I understand why they're they're saying that it's impossible to figure out a synth from a uh, a real person. Now is there? Does not appear as such. We. I want to find the. Uh... You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So, Doctor A. Greetings, ma'am. Can hide in his office. Seriously, thinking of heading over to robotics to knock some heads Rumor together. Rumor is. Advanced systems Move. starting a new dark matter initiative soon. Move. Pardon me, Gore. Move. Please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft, though? Doctor? Hello, so, Mr. Ao. Here you are. Justin Ao, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Sure. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. No kidding. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Of course not. <laughs> I guess we'll see. No problems here. Good to hear. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of yeah, the synth let's... potential. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Okay. Why would synths want to escape? Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Yeah, this Courser place is going down. down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. 
In a word, our coursers are relentless. And yet we killed no one. And kicked its ass. Fact, I'd very much nope, like to not know how you defeated it. Ah, uh, I got lucky. I guess I just got lucky. That's hardly helpful. Yep. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production line. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. Uh, good for now. I'm good for now. Thanks. Yeah, Very well. I know this place is that we're 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 annihilating like this, this place. Has been going on for months. Yeah, we're getting the fuck out of here. In bioengineering, that's where we're gonna find our our. What you call it? No visible reaction in the K14 compound. We'll start the next try. That's food. Bioscience. Yeah, here we go. Let's grab this the uh, serum. That what's his name is looking for. This is pretty suspect back here. Thinking I'm going the right way. Oh! Your locks are still rust. Oh, fuck. FEV lab. Okay. Well, let's, uh, this is probably where the bio... Laser tripwire. Okay. Sketchy. What happened in here? It's almost like playing uh, playing God with forced evolution. It's, uh, it's a bad thing, eh? Completely silent. It's kind of giving me the fucking creeps. Oh, yeah. That. Okay, cool. Uh, that just means. Let's go aid. It's, uh, where, what gets rid of, uh, mutant hound chops, right? Blah, blah. Let's do that. Out. Hello. Why is my laser pistol not? Oh, weird that it fell off my number one slot. Maybe when I dropped it, that would, uh. Fucking don't like this place, man. Giving me some Mondo Skero vibes here. Yeah, let's crack the door. Probably be faster to do Novus yes. Terminal, but... Oh, fuck. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> this place sucks. Uh, okay. Um. Let's 
really sucks. I don't like it at all. Puncturing pipe wrench mod. Okay, fuck that. I don't know what the hell that is, but it sounds awful, so I'm going to take it. This place was abandoned, and this place was abandoned for a reason. And I'm going to figure out what that reason is. There's a lot of uh, laser trip mines over that way. Nicely done. Sweet. Let's grab all that shit. I don't know if any of it was worth it, but we're grabbing it all. experimenting on kids. That's it. Yeah. Okay. I'm just 8,000% sure that, that these guys... These, we gotta get rid of them. Sweet. Oh no. House cats. The super mutant with his toy truck. It's fucking awful. Oh, that's awful. Alright, well this, that, that pretty much seals it. Let's pop this guy open. Zero to beat. Okay, let's... Let's do this the clean way, because I don't really feel like having uh, an accident happen. An accident wherein, like, I lock myself out of the terminal and can't complete this side of the quest anymore, because, heaven forbid, Egos? I'm in. There we go. Oh yeah, this this place is not cool. Not not cool. Can't accidentally let them out or anything stupid, right? There we go. Uh, this is Dr. Elliot with the official report for the Directorate from Bioscience. The date is, um, August 2178. I'm pleased to report that, as has been the case during my tenure, crop yields exceed expectations. In point of fact, everything down here is fine, with one notable exception. Alright, well we got the serum, so I was right to go into the FEV Dr. labs. Dr. Frederick has informed me that the Directorate has pre-approved research on samples of the FEV virus, which he already has in his possession. Now, I'm not one to question the Directorate, you all know that. I don't even want to know where this came from, but, well, this is troubling. Dangerous, possibly. Dr. Holden sent I will do my best to make sure risks are minimized, but I really do hope that the consequences are understood. 
Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. You guys are all fucked. Hi, Doc. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Committee. Cool. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Uh... Yeah, we'll see. I'll reserve judgment until I know more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. Sure. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of studies such as body, God. genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being yeah, of everyone are... in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animals. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Cool. Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. With hard work and ingenuity, any challenge can be overcome. And I'm with sure a little I hard work and ingenuity. As it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? Not sure yet. I'm not sure. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. Right. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. No, nope, that's good, thank you. I'm good for now, thanks. Take care, then. Goodbye, you creepy motherfucker. Where's the door to get the hell out of here? Alright, we'll beat the one last dock, and then we'll make our decision, and that, I think, will be a, uh, a pretty good stopping point. Who is the last doctor we needed to meet? I don't remember, to be honest. Is it true food supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. Food Supplement 77. Yeah, this place sounds like a dystopian hellhole. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she... <gasps> it is Madison Lee! Excuse me, doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here then. You son of yes, a bitch! Yes. I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't you interrupt You absolute her. bitch! Productive. Don't worry. I promise I won't get in your way. Thank you. I do appreciate that. You're dead. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access with the ability to relay in and out of the institute at will. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure yeah. that will load her up so that when I can relay is the come back and annihilate this place. Handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. Uh... Oh. I'm good for now. Thanks. All right. Madison Lee, you backstabbing son of a bitch. What would James say? What would James say? It's a little bit radical, to be honest. it'll be fine. I don't know what the fuck all of this shit does, but I'm taking it. Cool. Any other any other weapons I can loot? Let's see. Does it mention Project Purity? That's really all I want to know. Nah, doesn't look like it. Damn! Rushed work is you all know that Dr. Thompson from Facilities has expressed concerns about our power consumption. Unless... We're not violating any program. We're well within approved operating parameters. This is day eight of trial six. 
The last week has been very productive, but exhausting. I think we'll need a break after this. Benet has done some really marvelous work with the personality match. Absolutely unre well, it's, unreasonable. It's almost too good. The responses map almost identically to expectations, some of the most lifelike I've seen. Of course, it's not really Sean. None of his memories are in there. That, even now, would be a step too far. It's starting to have an effect on the team, I think. I know I've been caught up in the moment once or twice. Just a second or two, forgetting that he's not a real boy. Still, I think we'll need to consider restricting him to the lab only for the moment. I'm well aware that others are, are put off uh, by his presence. Dr. Lee, I would kill you personally if I, if I could. If I was slightly more arrogant, I might consider that a sign of success. Uh, huh. Okay, so do I have, like, an official objective? Talk to Potter. Yeah, okay. This place is fucked, too. I am not okay with this place. We're gonna blow it up. We're gonna see if we can pull... I don't even know if that's actually Sean. I, I have my doubts. I have some serious doubts that that is even Sean. Sean's dead, isn't he? I'm the only legitimate threat to them, and so they're they're getting they're they're trying to placate me. Now that you've had a chance to see the institute first, you guys are fucking crazy. What do you think? First things first. How do I get back to the surface? The same way you got in, of course. You Teleport. are not a prisoner here. Okay. You may come and go as you please. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our model. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes mm -hmm. without a Yeah, you're, you're all fucked. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. No kidding. If the synths are intelligent and self-aware, then they have a right to free will. However closely they may approximate human behavior, they are still... Yeah! <laughs> My boy just... You see what I have to show you. I think you'll agree that we know what is best for our synths. Okay. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. We'll bring that synth home. That would be best for everyone. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger. I'll tell you that, but I'm I could cross lives. Okay. Just 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 out of curiosity. Contact detected. Possibly. There you are. Let's just see what happens. Utilizing stealth. How interesting. Just, just that. Sensor anomaly detected. So, uh, 
A lot of bad guys. Can't I just fast travel? Can't fast travel when enemies are nearby. Oh, that's a lot of motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? We're gonna end this episode with a bang then. Shotgun fucking to the nines. Let's go. I knew you turn. Holy shit, there are so many people. <laughs> people that are mad at us right now. Yeah, keep coming, boys. Wait, was that Dr. Lee? No, that was just a scientist. Eve. <sighs> Goodbye, Ally. to loot really quickly and then we'll continue. So there's a... Oh, fuck. Fuck off, Norton. Newton. Oh. Alexa, no! Fuck it, really? Everything's going wrong here. This synth is not, uh... Not angry, not happy... Well... I don't know what the hell her issue was, but... Alright, how the hell did we get out of here? Let's, uh, let's pull up on our map. means we need the elevator. Can we call the elevator from here? Yeah! Get the hell out of here, boys! Goodbye, Institute of Crazy Motherfuckers. We will be back! Don't worry, I promise. Look at all those corpses. <laughs> That's a lot of corpses in that office. We'll be back, but I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be to, uh, to destroy everything. We have free reign to teleport in and out. Can we come back in and, like, nuke the place, maybe? Let's get the hell out of here. This is the slowest fucking counting. Seven. 
Okay. Any time now. Five. There's no button I need to press or anything, right? No? Okay. You, you killed him. How could you do that? He was your son. No, he wasn't. No, you guys took my son and killed him. Sean died. You evil motherfuckers. I am 100% convinced that, that was a synth. Father is a synth. Well, let's see what everybody has to say back at the... Uh... Back at the ranch. Oh, fuck, she is pouring rain. Tragic anime style. We've done some real rough stuff today, so I'm going to drop a save, a new save here. So that we can go back just in case we decide to uh, do something else. But, uh, we're taking down the Institute. Let's see the repercussions of our actions next time. Later!